Welcome back to another episode. We're here today looking for fossils at this creek bed. Some shale and stuff like that that we're gonna crack open and we're also looking for little buddies just like this guy. Now, get a shot of this. So this shell up here, this is where these layers, we want these big layers of shale that fall down. And uh, if you've seen my previous video, we talked a little bit about fossilization and how the animal falls in the sediment. The sediment solidifies and the animal gets trapped, becomes rock, um, and that's what these layers are. And then in between the layers, uh, is where the animal gets trapped and that's the fossil. So we're gonna try to find some of these uh, big chunks of shale that have fallen down, crack them open, and uh, see if we can't get anything good. But I think, Jim, like, something like this, like, I don't know. Ooh. Oh, we'll take a look at that, another <gasps> fatty. Come here. <laughs> but these little guys, these little tiny American toads, these are actually little babies. And they're all over the place by this creek bed, and we're bound to find a bunch of these guys. So that's that's number two. We'll keep a, a head count of how many of these guys there are. But we'll let him go. You know what? He's probably eating all these. It's the perfect place for him to be. He's eating all the insects in there. Go on, you little. I'll take a look right here. Yeah. Hot, hot freaking dam. Oh, dude. Yep. I'll we'll take a look. Got some different marine species. I'm not too certain exactly what those are, but as you can see, that's a whole chunk of fossils. We're gonna dig this out. Nice! Whoa! Alright, we got a good... <laughs> Take it home. Before we crack this one open, this is the same creek that we originally came to last week when we found that snapping turtle. Oh! Oh, Jamie, you know what? What? He's got a goddamn fish hook caught in his mouth. <gasps> now, see, let's talk about this because he's probably gonna die. And I'll update you guys the snapping turtle went through surgery. He went through surgery. He got, there was two hooks. Both hooks were safely removed after three hours. Um, they didn't have to go through the plastron, which is the bottom of the shell. They went through the left lower leg and the neck to get the second hook. Um, they were wondering if the anesthesia was going to be too much. It's always dangerous to put animals under. Um, but he, she made it out. It's a female. She made it out of anesthesia and she's doing really well. And now she's in the recovery process. So um, we opened up that fundraiser like I told you. Thankfully we were able to raise over $176. So I want to thank everybody that donated. It really means a lot to me, and all of your efforts and your contributions went directly to help pay for that surgery, and you basically help um, keep that animal alive. So I just wanted to thank everybody for that. And if you haven't seen the update pictures of um, the surgery, you can go to my Instagram, and I posted a couple pictures of uh, her recovering there. So anyways, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. But now we're gonna crack this sucker open. So I'm thinking, you see now, look at this one right here. That's, I wanna get that one out. Try to be delicate here. Nice. Whoa. Popped right out. Take a look at that. So we'll let that dry. Now I'm just, I'm just actually gonna crack this whole. whole oh. Take a look there. That's now there's a couple different little. Looks like mollusks. Looks like arthropods. I don't know exactly, but you can see all the different impressions here. Let's get deeper into this. Oh nice, there's one right in there. That's one in there. That might be the ridge one. We're on the back side of it. Just keep splitting away at this. Let's see if we can. Split away at this one. Actually, I'm gonna go in from over here. Oh, 
What do we got oh. here? Nice. Let's work away at that one. We'll get those smaller picks. So what happens is, the animal, this is all mud at one point in time. The animal dies, gets caught in the mud, sinks to the bottom. This turns to rock, and the uh, minerals replace the body of the animal. It's actually not the fossil itself, it's minerals that have replaced it. And then he gets caught in there, and uh, now we gotta dig him out. Ooh. Oh! Whoa! Oh. Dude! Look at that! Oh, but you know what? It chipped a little bit. That's perfectly in there. Alright, now I gotta figure out how to get him out. Now, I've seen other people, this is, I'm not too experienced at this, but I've seen other people get it out with Dremels and stuff like that, but it's already cracked, so let's see if I can't carefully. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like chipping. Oh, it's wiggled out. <laughs> oh, dude. 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 That's so cool. We're in the money. <laughs> nice. Now, I'm not too familiar exactly what species this is. I believe it's some kind of mollusk species. You can see it was like a clam species like that. We're gonna have to look that up further when we go home. I'm no PhD in this stuff. I just have a passion and interest in it, but wow. We're learning something in the process. Kick ass. That's so cool. Here, hold on to that. Go ahead and bag that up. I'll let you do that. Put that in a bag. Wrap it up real good. That's so cool. Nice. So this episode, it'll be the whole process of just us collecting them, and then the next episode, I'll make a video specifically talking about the pieces we found themselves. Nice. Go ahead and put that in the bag, actually. All right. High five. I'm amped about that. That was a cool one. Yeah, that was a cool one. Now, I'm, the, I'm yeah. pretty upset I chipped it a little bit. That probably was some novice work right there, so don't crucify me in the comments. <laughs> My God. This is like going through the dam. Honestly, should have just went out and went through the water. As I was saying, that was the largest specimen that I've ever found by myself, not just purchasing one. So I'm pretty happy with that find. We're gonna carry on forward. I, Jim, we can't go through here. We're gonna try to carry on forward and see if we can find a new location. That's not scrounged with people, and uh, I don't wanna cause a disturbance slamming that damn chisel down on that rock and disturbing people, so. I'm gonna try to get to an area where people aren't around. <laughs> Easier said than done. Oh, oh, hold it. We got it. We got some. We got some live action. Uh, live action. Ow. Oh. Oh. Oh, you know what? He's just a fledgling. Well, this is a good opportunity to talk about it. Sorry, I thought he was injured at first. Now this. I don't know what kind of species this is. What I do know is that this is a fledgling bird. Now at first I thought he was injured. He's in fact not. So fledglings can't fly. They call them fledglings because they can only fledge on uh, branches and stuff like that. But they're usually on the ground. And those are the parents or the group and they are not happy with me taking him. Um, but you can see his little feathers are coming in right now. These aren't his primary flight feathers. He was hopping around down here and I thought something was wrong with him, but he's not. So if you ever see an animal like this, a bird that's hopping around on the ground, just make sure to look out for the parents. Make sure that nothing's wrong with him, like as far as cat bites or anything like that. And uh, just let him back into the, into the spot he was originally found and let him be. Because he's a fledgling, he can't fly, he's growing his flight feathers. And uh, he will be okay. So we're going to let this little guy go. I don't know what species he is. Does, do you know what species he, he looks like to you? Uh, what do they look sure. like? Can you get a shot of the parents freaking out on us? Woo! Oh, there he goes. Oh. See, he can kind of fly. See yeah, how he's, he's getting going? there, yeah. yeah. Not close enough. I don't know what those are. Anyways, all birds will get fledgling at one point when they're growing up, so if, if you come across one like that, that's what's what's going on with them. He's just a fledgling. But... Nice live action. Come on, we're back. We're back on the hunt.
already has some specimens in it, I can see. Oh, that's cool. This one, I wanted to get this out. And then check this out. <gasps> Ooh. Whoa, dude. Yeah. Imagine what we'll, we'll get if we split that open. It smells like gas in between. That's crazy. That's what the fossil fuels are. It's, that's insane. Oh. Yeah. You can smell gas the moment you crack them. Fossil fuels. That's freaking wild. Geodes. That's wild. Somebody let me know what that is. That's like what's inside the thunder eggs I cracked open. It's like crystals, reverse. agate, geode, I don't know. Yeah. It's probably gonna Ew. be a, Yeah, this one's gonna stink. I'm trying to work along. So it doesn't all fall apart, and I get one solid cut straight down the middle. Just like that. Nothing. 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 Yeah, I almost think this particular shell isn't even worth cracking. But this, this stuff, this harder rock. And where you can see, like, what the hell is that? Get a close look at that. Do you see the gold shining? Do you see that a right here? A little bit, yeah. Right here. I don't know what that is. There's all kinds of stuff in this. Unbelievable. Yeah, this is the stuff right here. Let's get away with this. Get a good shot of this stuff when I'm cracking it. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. Yeah, that's soft shale. That's this is the stuff right here. This is the stuff. Whatever this is. See? There's something right there. In den of those fossils that we found. What in the hell is that? Other side. Hmm. Well, we'll put that in the bag and we'll wash it off at home. That'll be another episode. Let's crack the heart to the heart of the beast. It's so soft. That's perfect stuff, whatever. Whoa, you're just breaking it. It's like mud. Literally. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Oh my god, that's a better feeling than finding money on the floor. Oh my god. How freaking cool. Oh Whoa. my god. Dude. <laughs> Dude. I can't even explain how that feels. Wow. What's on the side there? That's now, cool. That, that's awesome. I'm very, I'm very f familiar that this species, along with the other one that we found, is very prominent in the area and very prominent in old, um, this is when like basically there was no dinosaurs on the earth. It was all just marine uh, animals. But I don't know, but like I said, we're gonna save that for another video. Now, this particular species, I'm not too familiar, but like I said, we're gonna save that for another video. All this video is gonna be about is the extraction. This is gonna be a couple part series and we're gonna learn together about uh, this stuff. So right now we're learning how to properly extract them with no formal training at all. As you can see, I've already chipped a couple. I chipped that other piece. Remember that nice one we had? Yep. I chipped that other piece that we had, so I, I don't have the most, you know, Ew. fine touch right now, but um, we're doing pretty good. So let's see if we can go ahead and get these removed. So we're gonna bag that up, actually, and I'm gonna take that home and try to do that myself.
Nice. So we're gonna bag that piece up. All right, so let's take this. Honestly, I should have brought tissue paper. <sighs> See, the hard part about this is what I just realized. I could be digging into other ones as well. It's yep. almost like you kind of got to pick and choose which ones you want. That right there, that's, you know what that is? That's a damn trilobite. That's a trilobite. Take a look at that. That's a trilobite right here as well. That's a trilobite right here as well. Holy crap. You getting this? Wiggling, yeah. Come on, baby. Oh, nice. That's the third find. And on top of that, we're right next to some trilobites. Let's go ahead and bag that up too. It's getting to be late right now. The park closes at six, it's 5.40. Oh. Yeah, I'm thinking now, <laughs> we take this home and we'll make this on another episode. We'll learn how to properly excavate the uh, fossils from this rock so I think that's gonna do it for this video make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can see when we dig into this guy we got some good specimens though right yeah that was pretty exciting and uh, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time take it easy